for our outdoor edge tip of the week. I'm going to skin the beautiful possum that I shot tonight. I'm going to use my signature outdoor edge knife, the side sheath that I helped design, and I'm going to be using my knife to skin this possum out. You can skin a possum very similar to a lot of other animals, a coyote, a fox, or anything else. The difference is you've got a tail to deal with. So for the cuts, again, like normal, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to ring right above the paw on both sides. So I've rang this side, now I'm going to ring this side. So I'm going to slide my knife in and I'm going to slide right along here. I'm going to go right past the vent to the middle right here. Then I'm going to come around the other side and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Now the only unique thing about a possum, which is actually pretty handy, is we've got the tail here and I'm actually going to ring right around the tail around the base because to a fur buyer they are not interested in the tail of that possum. So now that I've got that started, I'm going to make it easy on myself and I'm going to hang him up and finish him out. And now I'm just going to start working him down just like I would a coyote or a bobcat or anything else. And again, what I'm trying to do here is make sure I'm not taking uh, too much meat with me as I'm going. And you can see I'm just pulling this hide right down. All right, so now here's that leg pulling out. I'll put my finger right through there. And I'll pull this leg right out. And that's to where I've cut the other side. So I'm just going to keep working him down a little bit. There we go, I freed that leg. So now I'm going to pull him right down and that should pop right off right there. And now we're just going to keep out the head. And again, to keep out the head, I'm going to use my knife a few places here just to help free it up. And then what you have to be careful with is you don't want to destroy the ear. So I reach through where I can fill the ear and I cut it right at the base. You can see the base of the ear right there. So I've just freed up that ear on that side. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. The next part that you gotta work on is the eyeball. So you can see I'm pulling him right down and I'll be able to feel his eye right here. And then I'm gonna use my knife to work that hide right off at the very base of the eye. So a lot of it's kind of feel. You can see I'm coming through the base of the eye right here. And you don't want to cut that eye. So I'm all the way close to the skull. And there I've just freed the eye on that side. Then the next part is the jaw line. And I start to work on the very back of the jaw. And once I start to get the jaw, I'll just pull a little bit. And it'll just come right with me. And then when you get to the back of the cartilage on the nose, I'm going to cut right through right here. So I've got the top part off. There we go. So that is a pretty high possum hide cased out. I'm going to turn him inside out so you can see the hide here. Let's see how beautiful. There's a pretty possum hide. And I'll turn that inside out, put it on a stretcher and let it dry out. And another unique thing, another kind of trophy of this hunt, is the uh, skull. And if you ever look at a possum or a raccoon skull, you can tell the difference because possums have a very thin skull that narrows down to the point. On a raccoon skull, they're a little wider and they're a little, round, little more rounded. So if you're out in the woods and you find a skull, if you keep a few around or once you skin a few out, you can get to looking at the skull and figure out real easily what you're looking at. There's your Outdoor Edge Tip of the Week.